all the way towards the end of this bracket. It will be Hex Mambo and the Niflheim Wargs that are going to be headed up towards our larger bracket with those SPL teams to that larger bracket versus the Gilded Gladiators versus the Eldritch Hounds. The winner of that matchup going to... Gotta imagine if Johnny doesn't get a pick in the Baba Yaga. Super high, I mean 100% pick ban rate. See teams, I like to see that they're that by any means. That'd be their own to just absolutely body. How's the, the rest of the team to create space? At Rapio and Thor. As a Thor immediately after. So Rapio playing it. And not only that, the thing... Has to retreat himself. Whereas Tier, a little bit more so, not quite able to do the immense damage, but has that CC core, the, the stun off Lawbringer, or the ability to pull away some of those beads that is so valuable. Kana under some pressure here is Johnny. The talk of the town of, of the Hunter Pool right now. Hachiman, absolutely the highest prioritized pick for these ADCs. So I don't think that either side is saying we need to fight now or we need to wait either. Maybe they are saying they need to fight. Niflheim works on to the engage first, and Johnny's the one doing the damage, though. Forces Thor up into the air, and Gunter is the target of these ultimates as well, and Hook and Johnny combine to find the first two early Hex Mambo on the board first. Man, Julio's rotation there was massive. Double assist for the Soul Inner getting involved early, and in the duo lane, a clashing of the minds. Spudio forces Dave into that ultimate defensively. Looking at HPs, it's Spuddy who comes out ahead. Davey, now without CC immunity, caught in a tough spot. Wrapping around, Kha'Zix going to be here before Davey can back, and the ultimate not being there, the kill wow. is guaranteed. Single digit, maybe double. So, it might just be enough of a lead that Hex Mambo can rest for a moment and wait for the control point. Leo does get fearless. Into the Seen previously, which was Loki. A much slower pace as opposed to this Kamazots, which is just doing it all. Wow, Gunter knocked down low, needs the last hit and will find it with the bat of hell. Now caught between two though, as he needs the jump to get away and combo. Keeping Davy under wraps as well. Johnny, no ultimate this time. Locked down. Rapio, credit for the kill. I think it was Preds who gave that one over with the Darmic Pillars, but almost entirely belongs to the Niflheim Wargs and whether or not they're willing to defend. That said, could be a world where the wargs just try and do something else on map while it's happening. Davy is aware of the rotation. He's got Rapion Preds coming in to help him out. That'll force the ultimate as well from the dual lane. And Rapio has to burn the beads just to get out. That damage is massive from Johnny. He just barely gets up into the Anvil of Dawn. Preds cannot say the same, though. The tick damage won't be enough, but Johnny will be on the wraparound. Grabs his fourth got free after the capture point. So you don't get everything you wanted. You don't get the gold fury, but that fight may not have started. Johnny just barely able to get into the ultimate single digit HP and he gets out of dodge into the right jungle. It's being prioritized. Yeah, just a whole lot of damage. Good kill secure as well. That golden apple, not only massive burst, but removes the ability to go into your leap. Hawk. Unconcerned though, he's got the home sweet home. He is out of there, it looks like, and that now Johnny's in there, forces the Aegis onto Rapio and has the batter to hell if he needs to use it. The shell though will add a little bit of health to that bar, and Johnny will take the safe way out of the tier one tower. But look at Julio's positioning. He's rotated over from the soul lane just to make space, and I think that's gonna open up the window here onto the Pyromancer. For Hex Mambo, Davey waiting in the wings, Preds here as well, and now May look for the wraparound. Both soul laners here on the engage. Julio making the space and Kana on the blink in, but Hex Mambo secure the objective and maybe looking for the fight after the fact. Julio is in the front line, but backs away as does the rest of Hex Mambo. It'll only be a pick if they can get one, but they can force the relics of Spudio and Preds has caught himself too Yikes. far forward. Spudio grabs the pick and it may be Davey now. Under the pressure, the ultimate gets forced. So much positioning there, and Hex Mambo get away with a pick. Yeah, Kana's ultimate was clean, but the follow-up wasn't there. The rest of the Niflheim War is concerned about Julio's rotation. Where's Johnny standing? Are we allowed to follow up? The answer is no, and Hex Mambo punish heavily. It's not only the Pyromancer, but a Tier 1 tower, and a Gold Fury as well. The Niflheim Wargs will not be in any range to defend this one. This is starting to bleed out quickly, Frog. There needs to be a fight back in. You have to try. He's been willing to take every single time. So Hex Mambo... It's just about defensive positioning on map and waiting for something 
to group up on. That's something could be Kana, Kana's tower. Johnny diving in, and Rapio is here to help out Peel for the soul laner, but they've got an extra member. Kha'Zix in with the Earthen Fury, uh -oh. and it's Rapio who's been turned around on. The Sunder comes through, and the hammer will get him out of dodge as Johnny is forced into the ultimate, and Preds makes it in time to Peel for his jungler. A little bit of a later rotation from the works, but still gets there in time to make sure nobody dies on the side of the works. Hawk uh, up into the air here. Hawk may be the target, but Kha'Zix is the only one on the point. And instead, it's actually Spudio caught mid-rotation over towards that mid lane. Has to burn the beads. And Rapio will take a little bit of damage in return. But now all five players for the Mambo here. They're past the capture point and pushing down the mid lane. But everybody from could try and catch out Johnny, who's been playing pretty haphazard with his positioning. Been going in hyper-aggressive. But even with that said, it's Kamazots and Bat Out of Hell is not a misnomer. Yeah, I mean, he has one hundred... Oh, my goodness. Quick That's one. steal from the Niflheim Wargs, just like you were talking about an unforced error, but they can't answer back with their own unforced error. And Davey's got to be careful of that as he's 1v1-ing up against Johnny. I don't know if he <laughs> wins this one. But he will get out. Nope, he won't. He will go the wrong way with the horse and run right into the other members of Hex Mambo. So two unforced errors in a row. They trade back and forth, and now they're on the Oni Fury. Oh, so you're saying he died when a Fury was up, and it was like a pretty significant death there that perhaps wasn't super necessary to happen for some neutral farm, and now Hex Mambo, who are already in the lead, are going to push themselves even further ahead, unless... Unless they kill it! Another air comes through, and Rapio takes advantage! He'll find the steal, and he'll find the support of the Mambo, but he will not make his Pyromancer that's going to be a little bit more important than average just because of that objective, but Johnny Goodness. being caught out on the right-hand side. The ultimates come through, and I'll have to use his own. Keep my eyes on Kana and Rapio. Feels like the front line need to do a whole lot of work here for the wargs. Picked up by Kha'Zix, but a fight going on on the other side will be Julio forcing the ultimate out of Rapio and into the air, and defensively he will retreat, and that's going to be enough space created that they can press the go button. Davies in left lane. It'll only be Kana up at the fire giant. So it has to be a weighted coin flip if they want to even try. And Hex Mambo, sure enough, secure the Fire Giant. And they'll find a kill onto the support. Able to strip that one away. I'm not sure that's a valuable trade. Not with 10-6 Fire Giant. If this were 10-5 and you got to go back to base and waste your time, maybe. But instead, it's gas pedal and gas pedal only. Gunter oh eliminated under the tower. To TPN, 2v2. Alone up in the front line, identifies, pulls the Aegis earlier than he even anticipated, gets a free pick. That's going to make this a favored fight if they get Johnny over here, but not if Kana engages first and Rapio joins him. Hawk is off the map before they even get into the Phoenix, and Spudio joins him six feet under. Kha'Zix and Johnny now on the retreat, and Julio isn't close enough to help out. They'll chase down the support for Hex. Mambo and Kha'Zix. I'm not sure he'll get to make it to the mid lane. The Tier Lawbringer is back up and available and now Julio finds himself in the middle of three and will get taken out as well. Four fall for Hex Mambo. The Warks fight back. He said earlier when Davia died, maybe it was a significant death because the Fury was up. True in inverse as well. The Niflheim Wargs will take the Primal. Make it a little bit easier to knock down Wargs Prime for exactly that. Any bit of damage you can sink into it before Hex Mambo can respond will be incredibly valuable. 50% on Hex Mambos, 100% on the Wargs. You can knock down a Tier 1 Tower. I'm not sure they're going to do too much beyond that. Still need to play cautiously here. Hex Mambo, they were caught off guard in the last team fight. That wasn't a full look at how it should be. Johnny sneaking around the back, but Khan is on the engage first. Massive. Julio and Hawk get pushed down, and then his Gordy ultimate comes through onto the soul laner, but Johnny has found his way into the back line and has to ult defensively. It's Kana in, it's Rapio in on the front line, and they're pushing Mambo back. They're pushing Julio down. They're pushing all five members of the Mambo back to the tier two tower, and they take one while they push. The Titan is effective and it gets the tier one and it helps them get a pick as well. They're regrouping for the Pyro. Kana is getting so much done on this tier. The, the Fearless is connecting with two, lines up into the Darmic Pillars. Pred's getting the defense shred and burn potential as well. Rama, what needs to be different? Maybe Kha'Zix plays a little bit further back, uses Earthen Fury as an anti-engage tool. 
Spadio could hold on to his ultimate as well, try and peel out for his allies. Because the Niflheim Wargs, they're lacking for true kill confirmation. It's not random burst that's catching people off guard. That's a long fight that multiple ability rotations go through. So if Hex Mabo can catch in between, would be nice. Catch out Kha'Zix, he pushes up the face check, and he may get punished for it, but Johnny, they turn around onto him, and Kana? Khan has been left alone in the front line, gets picked by Spudio, and Johnny has found the window of the engage. Aegis forced onto Davy, but the jump grabs one, Still going. the autos grab two, Hawk helps him out with a third, and it's a four for zero, make it a full on Deicide after they find Gunter and Hex Mambo under some pressure. They answer back perfectly. They'll push down mid and take game one. Kana says to himself, look, it's taken hero plays on the last three team fights. I have to do it again. Unfortunately, delivers himself to the back line. Hex Mambo fold in and fold him from there. Meanwhile, Johnny absolutely decimating the back line of the Wargs himself. And it's Hex Mambo in a back and forth seesaw battle that come out on top in game one. But not without speed bumps. A couple of objective steals keep it even. What was a 7,000 golden experience lead cut down to essentially nothing at that 25 minute mark. One different play, one slightly differently executed en engagement and we're talking about a completely different outcome. You see Hawk elevated a little bit in the booze there, and rightfully so. They continue their undefeated record versus the Wargs on I, uh, I, I do think they were feeling the pressure, though, a little bit. That is a they have huge to amount to cut down. To be down 9,000 gold at one point and come back into being completely even where you have pressure on the Fire Giant, that is a feat that, that cannot go not talk.